Here we have Old Mill Pond, and we are talking about a carpet replacement today. The background Old Mill Pond, the original carpet is, was placed with the original school back in 1991. The life expectancy on the current carpet is 20 years, so obviously we're well beyond the 20 years. Currently our contract with cleaning service is a vacuum twice a week, which is down from every day due to budget cuts, and also it's steam cleaned once annually. The carpet currently is not easily cleaned, um, and it's not sectional square, so when there is a stain, it, um, it cannot be easily removed. And in current years, we've had mold due to high humidity in recent summers. We had four basic uh, flooring options, and I'll run through them quick. The first one was a basic VCT, which life expectancy is 10 to 15 years. Number two was linoleum, which life expectancy was 20 to 25 years. Number three was premium vinyl which was 15 to 20. And also we had rubber, which was 30 to 35 years life expectancy. The corridors, and you can see the cracks, and that is within the entire school, not just the main entranceway. The gym floor, which is also has cracks all along it for those who use it. Um, that is something that will be in phase one, which I'll discuss later. And also the entranceway will be removed and replaced as well. This is the timeline. The first year replacement, which is expected in the summer of 2016, will be removed to all classroom carpets. Slab moisture mitigation will replace the classroom floor and the gym floor, both with uh, rubber. The estimated cost of the phase one is roughly 1.7 million and the second year replacement, which will be in the summer of 2017. Also the slab moisture mitigation, and that really is to make sure that the, uh, the mold will not come back in any of the areas. The library floor, the corridor, and the cafeteria. It's just under $1 million estimated for this project in phase two. This is the tax impact. The total estimated project is just under 2.7 million. The projected average annual cost over 10 years over a debt exclusion for a single family home valued at $100,000 will be $35 per year. The average house for $173,000, which will be, will be $60 per year. And the average home valued at $250,000 will be $85 per year. This shows the uh, tax impact for a 10 year bond. Um, we have important dates to remember. The PowerPoint, obviously, as you're seeing uh, right now, will also be presented at the Palmer Senior Center at 12.30 p.m. on Monday, May 11th. We will also be holding open houses where parents and can come and see the actual existing carpet at Old Mill Pond at 12 p.m. on Saturday, May 30th and Saturday, June 6th. And the big day is the vote day on Tuesday, June 9th. Thank you.